What's your everyday carry? Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. So today, we're going to go over my everyday carry bag. The contents of the bag, I pretty much use every single day, and uh, I really never leave home without it. I don't really consider myself a super prepper, but I do like to be prepared um, for either a worst case scenario or just um, unforeseen uh, circumstances. So I carry three things on me, as you know. If you've checked out my Instagram page, Backyard Bushcraft, um, I have a pocket knife, uh, I have a lighter, and I carry chapstick. Also, with my everyday carry, uh, obviously I have my keys and I have my phone. Uh, so that's what I carry every single day. As far as a bag that I carry, I don't necessarily call this my go bag. I don't necessarily call this my, my get home bag. You carry a bag every single day when I leave my house. So let's get to it. We're gonna go through the bag. Okay guys, so I have a 511 Rush 12 backpack. This is a 24 liter pack. I've had this thing for about five years. It really uh, has just served its purpose. It's been through hell and back, vacation, it's been to work. As you can see, it's still in pretty awesome condition. Right off the bat, I have a couple of uh, patches. I don't know, just like for morale. I just kind of like seeing that. Um, and it's actually a pretty cool feature. I'm a guy, we like patches, we like stickers, and uh, that's why I have it on my bag. Uh, it has the Molly system. Okay, so you do have the option of hanging things on the front of the bag. I have a couple of D-rings that I have on the bag as well. This is just to carry various things. Brace it by my daughter, let's go ranges. Um, and again, morale, and if I do need just to carry some things that I don't feel like putting in the bag, I have the option of carrying them outside the bag. And so you see, I have keys for work here, and that's what I've done. I also have um, a little clip here at the side as well. I got this idea from a, a dude that I follow on YouTube. These are plastic D-rings. They're really excellent. They just snap open, and they go right onto the Molly system of the bag. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And then if you need to carry anything on the bag, uh, you know, you can. Uh, on YouTube, the gentleman's name is The Urban Prepper. You'll also notice I have a compass on the bag. Uh, this is actually just a cool little feature. Uh, I got this, I think it was for a Christmas present. And I just thought it was pretty cool to have. And also, I, I like to mess around and, and figure out, you know, where I am as far as bearing wise and, and navigation. I'm a pretty big guy, but it does sit on my back pretty well. Like I said, I've been on vacations with this. Bronx Zoo, uh, Hershey Park, uh, you know, any other type of park I can think of with the kids. And I've been, always been able to fit what I need in here. And I've always been able to carry this bag without any type of problems. All right, so just to jump into the bag here, let's go to the front pouch. So right in the first pocket, you'll notice I have a pair of uh, medical scissors, the flat edge, so if I have to remove clothing, clothing on somebody for an emergency, I obviously can. And then I also have a tourniquet. All right, so next in the pockets, uh, in the front little pouches here, I just have another knife. I love these little Spydeco knives. These things are great. They're very sharp. And uh, as you see, this thing gets used uh, quite often. So I have a Spydeco knife. I have... Uh, just a regular old Swiss Army knife, which uh, I use, again, as you see, the wear and tear on this bad boy, I use um, quite often as well. I have this uh, this cool flashlight. It's a Cree flashlight. I actually got this from BattleBox. Uh, again, this is not a paid advertisement for them at all, but this uh, little flashlight is great. It takes a double A battery, not one of those funky, weird batteries that you would think. Um, it's got the strobe light, you know, the strobe effect for uh, emergencies. It's got uh, two different settings as far as brightness, but also really why I like this. If you notice the front, if I can get that to focus a little bit. If you notice the front of this flashlight, it's pretty gnarly. You can use this as uh, self-defense if you really had to. And there you go, you see? You give somebody a good pop with that, and uh, 
sayonara, sweetheart. Uh, right over here is a highlighter and a marker. You always need something to, uh, to write with. Uh, obviously a permanent marker and this is a highlighter this is if i'm taking notes or if i do happen to leave a note for somebody and i really want them to notice something or there's an important message i'm trying to write obviously i have the ability to highlight it for them and they can notice on this side again just three more writing utensils a pen uh two pens and a pencil again just something if you ever get lost or you need to write something down i'm horrible with directions um you know, if you ever need to write something down, at least now you have the ability to do that. So that's why I carry three pens. And then right here in front is just some of my work information, you know, my ID and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Just easy access if I ever do need it. Uh, inside this little pouch right here, you might think I'm a little weird for having this, but uh, this is my lock picking kit. No, I'm not a thief, but I do like to have skills that are not really common amongst normal people uh, so this is just something I do as a hobby these actually came from Black Scout survival his website's pretty informative uh, he's got a lot of different survival gear uh, a lot of different um, tactical gear and this is just another this is just another lock picking kit you know, with, with multiple picks and of course I have a bushcraft kit, survive, survive in the wild and have fun doing it. This is Dan Rolwack, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I know, again, this guy's on my videos all the time. Uh, it's not a paid advertisement, but a very cool book. I really want to get my kids involved this spring and summer in some of the bushcraft things that I do. We can all learn together. The book's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't finished it, but I, you know, I am reading through it, and every time I do go through it, I bring it to my kids' attention. We do some stuff, and uh, they seem to really have fun. Check it out. It's not paid uh advertisement but uh you know just something to read through while i'm on lunch or if i have some time to kill at work so now getting into the main pouch here one of the things i love about this bag is how it opens i have full access to this bag i don't have to worry about only having a limited amount of space on the inside so right in the front here it's got this one zippered pouch um i carry this is actually a cool little kit right here this is like a splinter slash uh, bug bite type or I've stepped on glass type kit it's got tweezers it's got multiple tools inside where you can uh, you know uh, try to get something out of your skin if I'm not mistaken this is from ready man again very uh, very cool survival uh, tactical gear that they go over this is a pretty cool little kit to have uh, and then inside I have a um, a survival sewing kit. I just went to a wedding, a great wedding, mind you, and my wife needed a needle to sew with. And because I had this kit on me, she was able to fix or tack whatever part of the dress that she uh, that she needed to fix. So again, not something I use every day, but in a pinch came through handy so that was uh that was pretty cool as well so again it's just a survival sewing kit so i really feel being organized not just having stuff dumped in a bag is super important that youtuber i follow the urban prepper he came up with this system with the uh with the separate bags um just to stay organized so in this in this black bag right here it's by eagle creek um this is my electronics bag you know i'm not really gonna go through everything in here but it's got multiple it's got a, uh, a charger, I got my ear pods in here, car charger, iPhone chargers, and I also carry chargers, believe it or not, for, uh, for, uh, for Androids. So if somebody does happen to need a charger, I can obviously give it to them. Uh, so that's what I carry in this bag. And again, uh, if anybody ever needs something from my bag, the reason why uh, they're different colors is I could just say, hey, the inside my main compartment of my bag, the black bag is all my chargers, go grab one if you need one. This is my personal hygiene bag. Okay, again, it's another bag by Eagle Creek. Uh, this, I've used this thing a million times. But inside is just, you know, things that you would need for your personal hygiene. You have, I need to be shaved, clean shaved to my job. So there's some shaving cream in here with a disposable razor. Uh, there's petroleum jelly, because again, like I said, I work outside and my face gets chapped sometimes. So it's really good to have for my nose and, uh, you know, for my face when the wind starts blowing. Soap, 
uh, if I need to wash up after lunch or something like that. Toothbrush, toothpaste, some more chapstick, dental floss. Again, personal hygiene items. I take this with me on my vacations. And, you know, and this is my go-to bag when I'm jumping to the shower or maybe I've had uh, a big lunch. I need to just clean up a little bit. Or before I go to lunch, I need to clean up a little bit. Here's what I go to for my personal hygiene. This is my first aid kit. This first aid kit I got off of Amazon. Uh, it's Be Smart, Get Prepared. Uh, I believe it's a um, travel bag. Uh, but this hat, the, the items in here, not all of them are original original items. I've replaced these things in here a dozen times already. But it's your basic, um, you know, first aid kit. I have, you know, some, some Advil that I carry with me. Uh, I have Tums, um, Band-Aids, uh, antiseptic wash, petroleum jelly, uh, Neosporin, I mean, this thing has just about anything that you would expect a first aid kit to have. I got some masks in here, uh, you know, because that's just the, the day that we live in. Everyone needs a mask these days. But this is your basic, uh, you know, first aid kit. I can't tell you how many times I've come to this thing. Uh, it's a great little bag. Um, very convenient, small. I like it. Carries everything I need. And last but not least, of course, in the back the back pocket of this bag I have uh, trees I, I love trying to identify trees it's a hobby of mine uh, that I'm really trying to learn about or just try to get better at I should say uh, I live obviously in the Northeast area so that's why I'm looking at Eastern trees the Peterson field guide uh, is you know one of the best resources to go to so that's what I carry inside again if uh, I'm bored during lunch or I just want to kill some time uh, this is this is what I go to so that's it for me today guys real quick video on my everyday carry bag maybe you found something that you could add to yours uh maybe you can comment and tell me what i could add to mine so just full disclosure guys any youtuber that i mention any company that i mention any website that i mention i am uh, not being paid by them uh these are you know i'm a big youtube guy i spent some time on youtube finding things, researching things, and um, any ideas that I come up with, I obviously jump on top of them, see how it can work for me, and then obviously try to share it with you guys out. Also new to Backyard Bushcraft, I am uh, an affiliate with Amazon, so that means any product that I mention, I will obviously list in my description. If it's something you like, you click on that link, it'll bring you to my Amazon Associates page, and I will get a small commission uh, full disclosure, if you happen to buy it, it really helps out my page, helps me, uh, you know, be able to make these videos. So guys, if you liked what you saw today, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and obviously ring that bell. So this way you're notified every time I make a new video. I really appreciate you checking me out today. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft, signing out.